G'day everyone. In today's tutorial video, I'll be showing you how to create this large farmhouse style base. It features a total of three floors with smelting, enchanting, a bedroom, and a massive storage room on the top floor. On the outside, we also have a stable, so your horsey friend is always with you. I should also mention that this build was a collab with another amazing builder, Cryptozoolo Cryptozoolodge Crypto. <laughs> He's an amazing builder and my favorite. So please be sure to check out his channel and Instagram page. Links in the description. As usual, I'll do a tour of the base so you can be sure this is something you want to create as it takes quite a lot of time and resources to build. All right, so starting off the tour, you might notice that this build looks pretty different from my usual style and that is all thanks to Crypto. His style for houses and bases like this are among one of my favorite and they're really unique looking. So I'll just show you some features for the exterior before we head on to the interior. So you might notice that the walls on the bottom floor are made up of cobblestone and andesite and then we transition to diorite and calcite on the second floor and this kind of gives like a, a medieval kind of look to the build. We also have a lot of texturing in the roof. We've gone between deep slate tiles and bricks, but you can of course opt out not to texture this if you want to. It looks really good both ways. We also have a lot of greenery on the outside of the base as well. We've got heaps of leaves. We have pot plants with tulips in them and stuff like that. We've got lots of lanterns as well to keep all the mobs at bay. And we also have a horse stable as well. So if you like to use horses a lot, then your friend has a nice home to live in while you're not using him. And that pretty much covers it for the exterior. So now let's head on to the interior. So on the first floor, this pretty much serves mainly as smelting and also brewing. We also have a little bit of storage around here as well. But over here, we have our main smelting area. We've got three blast furnaces, three regular furnaces, and three smokers as well. We've got a little bit of storage up here for any ores or coal or anything like that that you want to use. We have these little islands as well on the middle of the floor just to kind of take up some empty space. Over here is our little brewing area. We have a couple of barrels as well for your brewing uh, equipment. And then over here, we just got a little bit of a decorative area with some bookshelves. And also we have a little storage area over here as well with some barrels and chests. Now heading upstairs, this is where all the main kind of stuff is. In here, in our first room, is our bedroom. We've got a little bit of personal storage along here and also up here in these shelves as well. We've also got a little tucked away crafting table under here. And we have like this really cool looking bed design that Crypto came up with. So heading out of the bedroom and into the next room is the enchanting area. And this enchanting area, of course, reaches a full level 30. So long as you put in the corner blocks in here. And this room also serves kind of as our crafting area as well. We've got some crafting blocks up here and down here as well. And we also have a little bit of extra storage on this side. And then out in the hallway, we also have a couple more crafting blocks just under this window here as well. So next, let's head up to the final floor. And this floor serves mainly as our storage area. As you can see, we have quite a lot of chests on either side. And we also got a bunch of barrels too. We also have some more crafting blocks up here, a quick access furnace as well. And yeah, this is obviously like the attic. So I decided to make this like the storage area. And yeah, so that pretty much covers it for the entire base tour. So if you enjoy this build and you want to create it for yourself, feel free to stick around and we'll get started on the tutorial right now. All right, so find a big flat open area and start off the house by creating the outline of all of the pillars. Now it's time to raise up all the pillars by an additional four blocks so that they're five blocks tall in total. Next, let's connect up all the pillars along the top with more stripped spruce wood. Grab out your scaffolding and head up on top of the pillars and we're going to start building the pillars for the second floor. These are all offset out by one block so place a stair block underneath and then the pillars are six blocks tall in total. All of the side pillars are actually in line with the original pillars, they're not offset by one block so make sure to uh, do that. And then once again, connect all of these pillars along the top. Now let's add these little pillars here. These are just for the sides of the roof.
Now it's finally time to move on to the walls. We're starting off with the bottom floor doorway. Place in some spruce planks on the floor and then add your door in. And we're gonna surround this door with a bunch of spruce trap doors. On the front, add in some upside down spruce stairs in the corners and fill in all of the empty spaces with spruce trap doors. Now moving on to the main wall design that's repeated throughout most of the bottom floor walls. We're gonna be placing some cobblestone and andesite blocks along the bottom and then cobblestone and andesite walls along the sides. Be sure to fill in this gap here and also on the right side as well with more cobblestone and andesite. Add in your glass panes and then move on to the side wall here. We're gonna be placing just a bunch of cobblestone and andesite. Now onto the horse stable, place in more cobble and andesite on these corners here. Then on this side, we're gonna make a big O shape And on the back side, again, another big O shape out of our main blocks here. Then fill in this side wall here and then onto the back walls. We're gonna repeat that exact same design we did for the front wall. Then for the back middle wall, we're just gonna be placing all walls on this one, no glass panes. And then for this bigger section here, it's pretty much the exact same design. It's just stretched out by two more blocks. Now onto all of the left side walls. These are all just completely filled in with andesite and cobble blocks, no walls at all. And just repeat the same wall design once again on the front here, except this time the glass panes go up by three blocks and then just fill in this side wall here, all with cobble and andesite. Now it's time to add in all of the details. So place some barrels under here and on top of those some spruce stairs and fences underneath those stairs there. Then add in some stairs and trap doors in this section here and a lantern on as well. On this section, just some more slabs and a trap door. And then in here, add in some oak leaves and cover those up with a trap door and also some signs. Add in some stairs here and some trap doors as well. And on top of those leaves, add a pot plant with a white tulip. Next, in front of the stable, just add in a little bit of decoration here with some barrels and extinguished campfires. And then we're going to add in this design in front of the stable. This is kind of like a little pillar made of trapdoors and also some stairs at the top. Add in some spruce fence gates and a fence there and chuck a lantern on as well. Now heading around to the side, we're just going to fill in the corners with some spruce stairs and then the rest with trapdoors. And then in this middle area here, place in some fences and some fence gates. Now onto the back wall for the stable. This is exactly the same as the side wall design that we just did. Now onto the back wall, add in the barrels and the stairs above. Place the fences underneath those top stairs and also the slabs and trapdoor in there. And then add in the trapdoor and stairs arch. Add in the leaves, the trapdoor, the signs, and also the white tulip in the pot. Then for the back middle one, this one is a little bit different. We're gonna place some stairs just like this, trap doors underneath and a lantern on it as well. Add in our usual arch design here, some leaves, the trap door, and also the signs, and also our white tulip. And yeah, you get the point. I'm not just gonna keep repeating myself. It's uh, pretty much the same thing. Just uh, watch the screen, I guess. Now for this side wall, we're gonna add in our usual arch design, but leave a gap in the middle as we're gonna be placing our lantern on right there. And then place all the leaves, trapdoor, and signs on. And repeat this on the wall to the right as well. Make sure to add in this little accent here as well. Don't forget it, it looks cool. Now onto the very front wall, repeat the exact same design once again. Now here's just a quick fly around of all of the bottom floor walls just to make sure that you got everything right. Also feel free to pause at any time. Now it's time to grab out the scaffolding once again and head up to the second floor walls. Instead of andesite and cobblestone walls, we're using polished diorite and calcite blocks. And for this wall here, just add in a spruce stair block in each corner and fill in the rest with trap doors. Now heading on to the right, this is pretty much the same thing, except we are just going to be placing slabs along the bottom instead of the stairs. 
and also some fence gates along the top with slabs above. Heading over to the right side, repeat that same wall design once again right here. And then for this big space in the center, we're just gonna completely fill it in with calcite and polished diorite blocks. Also be sure to add in that same design with the fence gates and slabs and also add in this little pillar right here as well and add in our little accent with the spruce trapdoor and spruce signs. Onto the back walls, these are all pretty much exactly the same as the front walls. the big main wall at the back, beside the glass panes, we're gonna place some diorite wall blocks. Onto the left side wall blocks, these are pretty much exactly the same as the wall that we just did on the back. And except on the front, this time we're gonna add in some fences here along with some oak leaves and surround those with trapdoors as well. Again, the accent at the top, don't forget it. Now onto this front wall here, we're gonna completely fill it in with diorite and calcite and also add in our signature little design at the top with fence gates and the slabs above. And again, here's a little fly around. We actually missed some slab blocks here, so make sure to add those in. Now grab our scaffolding again and head up to the very top and we're just going to fill in some random places here with calcite and polished diorite. And then we're gonna add in this little design here, mainly with slabs. We only are using one stair block right there and then just fill in the rest with slabs. And then head over to the left side and repeat the exact same thing once again. Now it's time to create the roof and we're gonna start off with the trim. The trim is completely made out of dark oak slabs and dark oak stairs and just follow along how I'm creating it here. On the front side here, we're gonna add in a little arch above this central window. And then on the other side, just repeat that same trim design all the way up and around.
And for the back, repeat the exact same thing that we did on the front, this little arch above that central window. Now it's time to fill in the roof with the deep slate bricks. Later on, I do texture these bricks with deep slate tiles as well. So feel free to do that now if you want to. Also in this section here, we're adding a small little window thingy. I don't really know what they're actually called, but behind here, just fill this in with calcite blocks. And then just continue filling in the rest of the roof. We're just mimicking the shape of the trim on the sides. So we do transition to slabs at the top. Also at the very top of the roof in the center, add in this strip here of dark oak slabs. I almost forgot this little gap here, fill this in with stripped spruce logs. Now onto the front, we're gonna repeat the exact same thing once again. We're gonna add this little window thing in as well, except this time instead of all calcite, we're gonna replace the middle calcite with a glass pane. And underneath that glass pane, put a stripped spruce block. Now with the roof completely filled in, head over to this area on the right side on the front and add in our little chimney. This is a mixture of bricks and granite. And then on top of those, place a campfire and then surround each of those with a spruce trap door. And then on top of those, just place a granite wall. Also in this front section here, fill it in with stripped spruce wood. Once again, here's a little fly around of the roof just to make sure you got everything right. Now let's move on to the bottom roof and start off by placing some dark oak slabs along here and then double it up at the end and underneath place in some dark oak trap doors. Do the same thing on the other side. Now for the main roof design, it's pretty much just a simple slab roof. It should be easy enough to follow along. And onto the roof for the stables. This one's a little bit more complex than the roof that we just did. So place in a simple slab design along here. And then onto the side, we're going to add in a little simple slab design once again, instead of just having it go straight across. And then for the back side of the roof, we're just gonna have it go straight across. Now connect this top area of the roof all the way up to the pillar and then just fill in the rest with deep slate tiles. Also don't forget to fill in this gap here with stripped spruce wood. And also this little gap right here, fill that in too. Now this is when I decided to texture everything, whether you wanted to do that as you were building it or not, it's up to you. Probably a little bit easier to do it that way. And now finally to finish up the exterior, we're gonna place in a pathway going to the door and this is textured with stone, gravel and andesite. Also place some pressure plates and buttons if you want to, it just adds a little more depth to the path. Now we're gonna add in a little curved pathway heading over to the stable and we're gonna texture this with just grass, coarse dirt and also grass path. And then to finish up, just go around and place a bunch of grass.
Okay, with the exterior now fully completed, except for the horse stable, which we'll get to at the very end, it's now time to head on to the interior. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is fixing up all of the walls and all of these gaps. So get out your andesite and your cobblestone and let's get started. So firstly, in this gap right here, we're gonna be placing in a wall of cobblestone and andesite. So let's do that now real quick. And we're also gonna cover up this hole with some strip spruce wood as well. Next up, let's fix up the wall up here. So firstly, we're gonna place in just a cobblestone and an andesite. And then beside that, let's place some spruce planks. And then beside the spruce planks, let's place a stripped spruce wood block. Now above the door, let's place in three spruce stairs, just like this. And then here we're gonna place another stripped spruce wood as well. And then on this side, let's make a whole strip of stripped spruce wood. And then that brings us over to this side. So now let's just fill in all of these gaps with cobblestone and andesite. And then once you get over to this side, we're just gonna continue placing cobblestone and andesite just above the window here. All right, and that's all of the walls for the bottom floor fixed up. While we're at it, we might as well just fill in these pillars here for the ceiling. So bring these pillars out all the way to the other side and do the same with this section right here as well. Now let's move on to the floor. We're gonna be replacing all of the floor with spruce planks. And also if you want to, you can texture it with some strip spruce wood. Okay, now with the floor completed and textured, it's time to finish up the ceiling. So what we're gonna be doing is filling in these areas here with spruce slabs, making sure that these are on the top half of this block here. And then just go ahead and fill all of these in Now, with all of these sections completed, we're gonna move on to this area here. But before we just start filling in with planks, we're actually gonna place in another strip of wood here. And then we're gonna put some spruce slabs in this gap here. And then for this gap, instead of putting them on this layer, we're gonna put them down one, just like that. And with that, our bottom floor is completed, except for obviously all of the furnishings, which we'll get to right now. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna head over to the right side wall. And let's begin by placing a shelf. So come over to this block here and place in an upside down spruce stair block. Below that, let's place in a spruce trap door. And in front of it, let's place another two spruce trap doors. Now let's repeat this on the other side real quick. Just place your trap door and your stairs in like this. Now in front of the trap doors, we're gonna place another upside down stair block like this. Do this on both sides. And then in these three gaps here, we're gonna place in some barrels. Do the same on the other side, of course. And now in this gap up here, let's just fill it in with spruce slabs. Now let's head below and we're gonna fill this in with three blast furnaces and then three furnaces and then three smokers. And then above the central furnace here, let's place in some stone brick walls. And then above this one, let's place in some stone bricks. Next, let's decorate the top of these furnaces. So firstly, let's place in some candles here, light them up as well. Let's place in a campfire and extinguish it. And then let's place in a flower pot with a spruce sapling and let's place another campfire, but this time we're gonna place it in a different orientation so that the logs look different as you can see. So with that, the furnace area is now completed. Now let's turn to the left and start off the brewing area. So for this one, let's place in our barrels first. It'll just make things a little bit easier. So let's place all of the barrels along this area right here. Then to the left and right of those, let's place some upside down spruce stairs. And then underneath the middle one, let's place a spruce slab. And beside that, place in two spruce trap doors. Now above these barrels, fill in this gap here. And then this is kind of like a little hanging uh, storage section, I guess. Now directly below this, let's place two stripped spruce wood blocks like this. In front of the middle one where we left a gap, place in a spruce trap door and also place in some trap doors on the sides like this. And then on this exposed face, let's place a spruce sign and do the same thing on the other side. Now on these two blocks here, let's place in a brewing stand and in the center, a water bucket. Not sure why I said water bucket, I obviously meant water source, but uh, yeah, with that, the brewing area is now completed. Now let's create these little barrel island things that kind of just take up the floor space because it looks kind of empty without them. So to line this up, we're gonna go in line with these three furnaces here and also in line with this little pillar right here. So place our three barrels just like this. And then on the other side, we're gonna do the exact same thing, line ourselves up with this pillar here and place the three barrels. Now on the center of each of these barrels on each side, we're gonna place on a spruce trap door. And then we're gonna cover the remaining blocks with spruce signs.
All right, and with those signs all done, now on the right one, let's place in a flower pot with a fern, and then on the other one, let's place another flower pot with an allium. Probably pronouncing that wrong, I'm sure. All right, and with these two island things done, now let's move on to the stairs. So to line these up properly, we're gonna go in line with this barrel here, and we're gonna place the first stair block just like that. Now let's place the remaining stair blocks until we reach the top. We're also gonna have to destroy part of the ceiling here as well. And then if you line this up properly, there should be one slab block right here. Now let's head back down the stairs. And under here, we're gonna put in some bookshelves and some looms as well. So let's just fill it up with bookshelves first. And this is just so I can show you how it's going to look. So you can do this if you want, just have all bookshelves, or you can do what I like to do and kind of texture it with looms. And looms, they just kind of look like empty bookshelves when placed the right way. So let's place two here. Let's place maybe one up here. And instead of placing this one like this with this exposed block here, we're gonna go all the way around in here and place it like this. And that way the shelves kind of look like that on both sides. And let's just finish it off with another one up here. Again, make sure to place this on the side. Also just fill in this gap here with a spruce slab. And then underneath this little section here, let's place in some upside down spruce stairs. And then on this block here, let's place a lectern and fill it up with a book and quill as well. Okay, and just before we move on to the last section here, let's quickly put in some lanterns. These are really easy to line up. They're pretty much just right above both of these pot plants here. Now let's head over to this section. And to start off, we're actually going to go into this corner here and place in a composter. And above that, we're gonna place some leaves as well. But before we do that, let's quickly place in some spruce signs here. Now above that, let's place in two leaf blocks just like this and above that a fence. Now let's head over to the final section over here. And in here, we're gonna be placing in two barrels right here. Underneath them, place in a spruce slab block. In between those, let's place a lantern as well. And then down below here, we're gonna place in two single chests. And in between them, let's place in a lectern with a book on it. And with that, the bottom floor is now completed. Now let's move on to the second floor. So to start off the second floor, what we're gonna be doing is replacing these four blocks here with stripped spruce wood. So let's just place those in. And we're also gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now let's place in the outline for the wall. If you have gaps here, you don't have to fill these in as we're gonna be covering this up with a wall. So let's just place in the outline for the wall here. And now we're gonna look for any remaining gaps that we have in the diorite and also the calcite. So I only have one here, let's just place that in, but you might also have more. So just be sure that this whole line along here is completely filled in except for this section and this section. So before we start off the ceiling, let's actually finish up this wall and raise it all the way up to the top here. It should be five blocks tall. And now let's just quickly go along the entire thing and fill this in. Now with that done, let's hop down and let's start off the ceiling. So the ceiling is actually really easy to do. All that it is is a repeating pattern of spruce slabs and also spruce trapdoors. So now let's just go along and fill these in in this little section along here. And once we get to this section right here, we're just gonna place in some spruce slabs like this. Be sure to leave this gap here as we're gonna be placing our ladder on. Now let's create our doorways. These are spaced apart two blocks from the side and they're also two blocks wide. Let's do the same thing on the other side as well. Now let's head in and continue placing in the ceiling. Okay, and with that, the ceiling is now fully done. Let's head back out into the hallway and start off with the furnishings. So let's head over to the wall in front of the stairway here, and we're gonna place in some upside down spruce stairs just like this. In between them, let's place in a spruce slab. To the right of that, let's place a composter, and above that, two oak leaves just like this. Also in front of the composter, place a spruce sign. And now on this table, place in a flower pot in the center with a cornflower on it. And to the right of that, a lantern. Now along the stairway, let's place in some oak trap doors. And we're gonna place these on this block here. So just place four like that. And then on this one, we're actually gonna be placing it on the, not this block, but the block in front of it. So just do this, place a trap door like this, and then place another one here and close it up. And then let's just remove that one. Next to these trap doors, let's place in our strip of red carpet. So we're gonna start it off on this block here and let's just extend it all the way down to here, stopping two blocks away from the wall. In this corner, place in a composter and some signs on the exposed faces. Above the composter, let's place two blocks of oak leaves. Now in this gap here, let's place in our ladder. We're gonna extend that all the way up to the top. And then underneath the window, we're gonna place in an anvil and to the right of that, a smithing table. On top of the anvil, put on a lantern. And then on top of the smithing table, place a flower pot with an allium. Now let's head back out into the hallway. And in this section here, we're gonna destroy these two blocks. On top of that, let's place on an armor stand. 
and just fill that in with whatever armor you want. I'm going to go with diamond. Now above and below it, let's place in some trapdoors like this. And beside each of these trapdoors, place on some signs just like this. And then we're going to remove this block here and also place in a lantern above it. And with this done, now let's create the last wall that we need to create, which is right here behind the armor stand. Let's just extend this all the way up to the ceiling. We're going to have to also remove these trapdoors. And now with that wall done, let's head back downstairs and we're gonna add in our doorways. So let's head over to the right one. We're gonna destroy these two blocks up here and we're gonna place in some spruce stairs just like this. And then underneath these, let's place in some trap doors all the way down to the bottom. And then back here, let's place in some doors just like this and then open them up and head inside and then place in two more trap doors just like this to cover up the little gap here. And now we're just gonna quickly repeat this on the other side. So remove these two blocks, place in your spruce stairs, underneath them, spruce trap doors and then place in the doors, open them up and whack your trap doors on right there. So with that, the hallway is now completely finished. So let's head into the first room, which is the bedroom. So head on inside and let's place in some bookshelves all along the bottom to cover up the exposed stone blocks here. And then above the bookshelves in this section here, let's place in four barrels. And below the fourth one, we're gonna place in two spruce fences. And then up here on the ceiling, we're gonna place in another spruce slab just like this and below that one, a spruce fence. Underneath this fence, let's place in an armor stand and chuck whatever armor you want on there. I'm going with iron. And then underneath the barrels, let's add in some little details. So next to the fence here, let's place on a flower pot with a cornflower. And then right in between these two windows here, let's place on a stone button. And then in the middle up here, underneath the barrel, let's place on a lantern. And with this wall now done, let's turn around and let's place in our shelves. So to start off in this corner here, we're gonna place in our spruce slab and in front of that, a spruce trap door. Do the same thing on the other side as well. And then in the middle, let's place on some spruce slabs like this. Now on the top left one, let's place in a barrel and to the right of that, a flower pot with a flowering azalea. On this one down here, let's place in some candles, light them up with some flint and steel as well. And then place a large amethyst bud on the actual shelf. And then on the top right shelf, we're gonna place on a campfire and extinguish that. And to the right of that, a chest. And then below that, next to the door here, we're gonna place a crafting table with a lantern. And now with both of the walls completed, let's create the bed. So place two white wall blocks just like this. And above those, two white carpets. On the sides, place two spruce trap doors. And then in front of these two white wall blocks, we're gonna place two red beds. On the sides of these beds, place some spruce signs just like this. Make sure you hold shift while you are placing them. And that is our bed fully done. And also with that, our bedroom is now fully completed. Let's head back outside and start off with the enchanting area. So head on inside and let's place in our bookshelves. These are just gonna be in the back corner here. So let's place in a row of three just like this. And then on this wall here, let's fill it up with bookshelves. Now we're also going to do our little loom trick again to make some empty looking bookshelves. So let's just place some of these randomly. It doesn't really matter exactly where you place these. I'm just placing them in some random areas. And now above the bookshelves here, we have like this weird kind of gap. So we're going to fill this in with spruce slabs. We're also going to replace this trapdoor here with slabs and also this one as well. And with that, our gap has now been eliminated. Now let's place our enchanting table right here. And this of course also reaches a full level 30. And directly above the enchanting table, let's place another spruce slab here so that we can place a lantern on. And then in this gap here where the window is, let's place a flower pot with a cornflower inside. Now let's turn around, close the door so we have some easy access into this area right here where we're going to be adding in some crafting blocks. So firstly, in the corner, let's place in a crafting table and the, to the right of that, a loom. Above the crafting table, place on a lantern. And then above this, let's place in a little shelf. On top of the shelf, place in a stone cutter and to the right of that, a grindstone. We might have to place in a couple of blocks for us to stand on so that we can place the grindstone like this. And now on this side right here, let's place in some spruce stairs and then above that, some chests. And then above these chests, place in some spruce slabs like this and some more chests. And now that's the enchanting slash crafting slash storage uh, room done. Let's head back outside and let's head up the ladder to the final floor. So heading up to the second floor, we're actually going to be starting off with the ceiling. So head on over to the center and we're going to go up four blocks. So one, two, three, four. And then at the top of the fourth block, let's place in a strip of spruce slabs all the way to the other end. And then on the right and left of this, let's place in some trap doors. And now in front of all of these trapdoors, we're gonna place in some more slabs. Mm -hmm. 
And now again on either side, we're gonna place in some more slabs, but this time they're gonna be down one half of a block like this. And then we're not gonna be doing the rest of the ceiling as it's gonna be covered up by barrels and chests, but we're also going to need to fill in these sections here that are exposed. So just fill in these little gaps with calcite or polished diorite and also these gaps here as well. So we're actually gonna add on our lanterns real quick. So head back over to the ladder side and on the wall here, we're going to go one block away and place on another spruce slab and on that place on your lantern. And then we're gonna go spaced apart by two blocks, place another spruce slab and then do the same thing, another two blocks and a spruce slab. And then on both of these, place on some more lanterns. Now let's head back over to the ladder once again. On top of the ladder, let's place on a spruce trapdoor. And then behind this area here, let's fill this up with spruce wood. And then let's start placing in some spruce stairs just like this. And we're gonna place them on the bottom corners here and also on the top corners like this. And then in all of these gaps, let's place in some spruce trap doors. And there's our little entrance done. Now let's finish up the rest of this wall here. So to do that, let's grab our chests and we're gonna place in a bunch of double chests just like this. On this little section, let's just place four. And then to the left of that, let's place a strip of barrels like this. And then let's fill in the rest of this with more chests. But make sure to stop once you get to the very end as we're gonna fill this in with some more barrels like this. And now in between these chests at the top here, let's place in a bunch of spruce stairs and do the same on this side. But once we get to this area here, let's place it like this. And then in front of these barrels here, place on some spruce fences. And now this wall is done, let's turn around and fill in this wall. So firstly, let's head over to this side and place in our strip of barrels just like this. And then beside this, let's start filling in our double chests. And this is only going to be four across before we place in our next set of barrels. And then again, let's do the same thing, fill in our double chests. Make sure to leave this gap at the end and we're gonna place in some more barrels. And then above all of these chests, place in some spruce stairs. Do the same thing on this little gap here as well. And then on this central set of barrels here, place on some spruce fences. Now let's head over to the back wall and we're gonna place in some bookshelves. We're gonna place five along just like this. And then we're also gonna fill in this gap above here. So destroy these two trapdoors and then just fill in all of this with spruce slabs. Now below this, we're gonna place in two more bookshelves in this section right here. And then we're gonna do our trick once more. Uh, we're gonna place in some looms just to kind of look like empty bookshelves. And then to the left of these here, place in a lectern with a book and quill. And then to the left of the lectern, a crafting table, and then a furnace. On top of the furnace, place on a stone cutter. To the right of that, a brewing stand. And then on top of the loom, let's place on a couple of candles and light them up. And on top of the bookshelf here, place on an amethyst cluster. And now we're just gonna cap off each side with some spruce trap doors. So it might be kind of awkward to place these. So you're gonna have to kind of maneuver yourself around a bit. And then let's do the same thing on the other side here. And with that, the upstairs is now completed. And with that also, the entire house is now completed. The only thing that's left to do is head outside and create the interior for the horse stable. So let's head on inside. And firstly, what we're gonna do is replace most of the floor with coarse dirt. Just leave a couple of grass blocks just so that it isn't all entirely coarse dirt. And next, we're gonna fill in this little gap here with more cobblestone and andesite. And we're also gonna extend these walls up as well by one more block. So just fill in all of these blocks here with cobblestone and andesite. Now let's fill in the ceiling. This is a similar design to the second floor ceiling. We're just doing spruce slabs and spruce trap doors. Next, let's create a little hay storage thingy. So place in two hay blocks just like this and underneath them, some trap doors. Now we're gonna add in some spruce fences here and above those, another trap door just like this. Now below this, let's place in another hay bale and above that, we're gonna place on some campfires and also make sure to extinguish those. And then also place on a piece of grass right here. And now in this corner, place on a water bucket. But before we do that, let's just quickly place in some trap doors to enclose it in and then place in your water bucket. And with that, the entire house is now completed. The only thing that's left to do now is to finally grab our little horsey friend over here and put him in where he belongs. Come on, little guy. You're going home, finally. In you get, come on, come on, you little bastard. And you can just hook him up wherever you want. I just like to put him on this fence here. 
Come on, in you get. Yep, 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 come on. And then just close those up and uh, yeah, there we go. So if you enjoyed this tutorial video, I would greatly appreciate it if you left a like as it helps this video reach more people. We are also so close to reaching 30k subs. So if you wanna see more tutorials just like this one, be sure to subscribe. All right, cheers for watching everyone and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.